Let's talk about Donald Trump. You made over 100 grand predicting that he would become president. What's your appraisal of his time in the White House? You know, I think he did a good job under the circumstances. I think he came into uh, an assault from day one, really. Um, I think un under the... I mean, the economy boomed, and that, of course, is really the measure of any uh, presidency or leadership. Um, I think he did a great job, and I think it's a good chance he'll be in again. No wars either. No. Unlike now, under Joe Biden and Ukraine, no. with the Americans sending cluster bombs to Ukraine, uh, which the Brits say is the wrong thing to do. You've written a letter to Rishi Sunak. What have you called for? Well, just to get together, because it is completely endable. Uh, I had a meeting uh, a few days ago at the Russian embassy with the ambassador and uh, with actually the military attaché. And there is no question at all that this whole thing can be put to bed in less than 24 hours. Do the Americans want this war to end? Well, I don't think they do, and I think that's the problem. But I think we as Britain, with our tradition of, of, of diplomacy and supposed intelligence, we should really not be playing into the Americans' game. Mm -hmm. We've tended to do this in the past few years. But what we have to remember is that every day you and I are sitting here and we're putting our children to bed, and uh, we have... Um, uh, you know, this is brother killing brother. The bloodshed has got to come to an end. And Donald Trump has said he would end that war in days. Do you believe him? I, I know it's solvable in hours. And what, from briefly, my own, from what, my own what communications. What do you think the solution looks like? Do the Russians get Crimea? Do they get a guarantee that Ukraine doesn't join NATO? I think the first thing is, is we need to be honest about the actual reasons that it started. Mm. And that has to be part of any negotiation. What we're being fed at the moment in the West is, is really false information yeah. about the origins of the war and why it started. And for any argument to resolve, whether it's a domestic or, or whether it's uh, something more serious, such as an argument that could result in nuclear war, yeah. um, you have to be honest about the origins. So that requires communication. It does not require cluster bombs. Uh, it does not require uh, depleted uranium. Um, what it requires is getting Rishi Sunak, Putin, into a room and, and for him to... You know, Rishi and I went to the same school, so I know he's, he's bright enough to sort this out, and I believe in him. Uh, and and what I, my, my letter, which you can read on Twitter, yeah. uh, we lay that out quite, quite clearly. Well, look, I hope you prevail, because it's important to look at any solution to this awful conflict in which thousands of people have lost their lives.